Ha <laughs> ha! Everything looks a-okay. Let me uh, pull up my phone to pull up the chat. We're playing some good vibes, Stardy, Ra Stardy Rancher. I just said Stardy Rancher. No! <laughs> oh no! Crap. <laughs> what a way to start! We're playing some. St st I almost said it again! Ah! Ooh. I've not played in it. It's been a while since I played. I gotta remember the con my controls. Um, we are playing some Slime Rancher today. You're going to hit that button. It appears both of these babies have all of the things they need except for food. We're working on the food. I'll give you the odd onions you seek, dear friends. I wish there was a way to like auto heart like auto collect from these without using the bees. Well, actually, there may be a way to it, I just haven't gotten there yet, but... We will... Put you down to that. No, not that. We're going in. You activate. Enjoy some odd onions, my children. Enjoy some odd onions. It's been a hot minute since I played, so I gotta remember what's what, where's what, where's Waldo. Um, sorry. No, I'm not. I'm having fun with it. We're gonna put some carrots in here. And we're gonna go for a bit of a jog, I think. Let these children do their thing. Me kind of refresh myself with what I've been doing here. Because I did a video on this. Oh, it's been a hot minute now. Um... Considered starting a new world for this, but like, we're only six days in. It's not too much. Also, I have a habit of in Star. Uh, in, not Stardew. In sl I've been playing so much Stardew, it's throwing me off. I have a habit in Slime Rancher of like, starting, getting a while, restarting, getting a while, you know. It's a good way to say no to that habit. It's to do it this way. Just not letting yourself. For a second I thought that was a tar tucked away back there. No! Oh, dang it, pink slime. We'll save the chickadees. Chick chickadee. Oh, the chickadoos. Chick chickadee, chick chickadee, chick chick chickadoo. Is it M for my map? Yes. Wow, we've done okay. We found a decent amount of the map, much more than I anticipated we had in six days. Where'd you go? No, I needed that rooster, you monsters. Do I remember why I'm collecting uh, hens and all that jet? Ow! I just bumped my hand into the monitor. <laughs> Thankfully, I've got like a little guard on the edge of it because I, with no depth perception, I do that sometimes. I'll just think I'm moving my mouse correctly and I just punch myself. <laughs> or I'll, in this case, I'll punch the monitor. Hello. <gasps> You're why we're doing this. I remember now. Or is it you? Is it not you? I, if I remember correctly, you're not all that useful. But we might as well pop goes the weasel on you. Pop goes the weasel on you? I don't know. Trip's having a day. It's been a long day. Woke up uh, to some Discord drama. Which I'm used to, but like I still don't appreciate its existence. Which which dude is down here? Is it Fruit Dude? It do be Fruit Dude. Fruit Dude. Um, so we could work towards Fruit Dude as well. I think he does give a slime key. How do I get out of here? I don't remember. This way. Um... But yeah, started the day off with some Discord drama. I'm used to Discord drama, but I don't like it. 
I know. Aren't you like Trip? Aren't you like a Discord moderator for people? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Just because I'm frequently around something does not mean I have to enjoy its existence. Oh no, we can't use this way to get out because we don't have a slime key. So we gotta walk all the way around. That's annoying. Ow. That's more annoying, is that you headbutted me with your spiky heads. I'm gonna f set the chickadoos down somewhere safe so I can let them grow up into hen hens or roostros, whichever they decide to be in their lives. Whatever path they take, I will support them. Seeing if there's any more feathered friends to save. Oh, that's that's a thing. That's a thing. Eat. Eat my children. No, wait, no. Don't say that, Trip. Even if you have the best of intentions. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> hey, Joe. <laughs> what an interesting time for you to join. Trip yelling, eat my children. Eat them. <laughs> that might have to go on quote bot. Because we do have quote bots set up that may have to go in there. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, I was gonna <clears throat> have V Galaxy help me do that. Uh, get the April stuff in quote bot, and maybe work on like a best of the month thing. <laughs> That's going in the quote bot. I'll make a note a second and write that down. We'll go to the ranch house and check the mail, and that's when I'll write that down. Boop. I have a notebook over here for when I'm streaming that I forgot to put near me. It also is where I write down some miscellaneous gaming things, like a record of all of the uh, aces I've gotten in Siege over the last however long. Um, who are you? Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that's it's Mochi Miles. Um, today is the 25th, so. Cool bot. Don't. No, it's eat my children, not don't eat my children. It's eat my children. It's so much worse. <laughs> How are you doing today, uh, Jawa? How is your Sunday going? in your neck of the woods. Uh, oh, it's Mochi Miles, hello. That's actually not too bad. We can do that. Uh, let's see. Dilo character on Bedrock, his name is Dylan for now. I got a polar bear, Jawa, and a rooster. Rossitary. Very cool. I, th I think I said that right. Who knows? Nope. In. In you go. Wow, apparently before I stopped, I had obtained a massive amount of, uh, burbs. We'll put one more of these. Um, that's on the other side. I might just make an empty corral to put the chickadees in. The chickadees in, honest. No, I can just make a a chicken one and then the table it. A demon, Dark Soul, and a dinosaur Dylan. I like the name Dark Soul for the demon. That's cool. I approve. Uh, coop. Over here does seem like a good place for a coop. So, welcome to the coop, my children. Um. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. also you Dave is Baratastic. I'm happy to hear it. Glad to hear you having a good day thus far. We're going to grab specifically the odd onions that are over here. I'll leave the carrots be. The time being. 
then we'll harvest uh, some plorts, give some chickadees, not chickadees, we'll give some head hens to the, the gordo, the big boy. Uh, supposed to be set, to be Rosser, Rosser, Rodicery chicken, lol, sorry, gotcha, okay. I, 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 I didn't know, um, my vision's bad, so I just, I don't know. I do my best reading, <laughs> but we should try and get more puddle slime, but we can't. Oh. Um, puddle rave? Question mark. <laughs> wait, wait. Can we can we replicate this? No. There we go. Puddle rave. <laughs> oh, that made my heart so happy. That made my heart so happy. taking notes. Um, let's see. Like the food. I'm actually unfamiliar with that food. I'll, uh, I don't know what that is, actually. I'd be intrigued to learn. I like learning things. I know. It was a surprise I like learning things, me the person who's getting a PhD in this economic climate. Um, I feel bad. Um, one of my favorite streamers always seems to be streaming around the same time as I am these days. So I've not made it to one of her streams in what feels like an eternity. Because she is always live at noon, uh, my time. But that's also when I've been live. I've been live at noon, my time, these last few days. Which means I've missed a lot of, uh, of their streams. Let's collect our rewards. We got some burbs and some num nums. Q berries are good because we need those for the the bright boy. Let's go pop that uh, thing. The Gordo thing. Oh wow, you guys grew up really fast. Too fast. I don't actually remember like how to balance one of those um, enclosures, like how many of each to put in there to make it work correctly. So I may just keep using it as like a way to get more, to like speed up production, just find root the chickadees around, put them in there so they grow up really quickly. Also, uh, still want to find the the way to open those capsules. Uh, Dark Soul is a demon version of me you made back in high school, around the same time you made your Twitter. Very interesting. Um, actually, related. I lately have kind of... Oh, look. Oh, for a second there, you got to see one of the, the tabbies, like, holding on to the fruit. Because if they don't eat a food, sometimes they'll just pick it up and carry it with them, and it's adorable. Um... I don't have, like, an imagined demon version of me, but, like, I've recently, like, started, like, oh, that was quick. Nice. Almost relegating certain things to, like, my friends have jokingly called it, like, dark me. Hey, we got a victory ornament. Kind of feels like a similar vibe. Or, like, we'll joke, like, oh, that was dark trip. Obviously, they didn't say trip, they say my real name, but, Yeah. We got a victory ornament, or ornament, <laughs> ornament, and a oh hello. No, why did you just walk into the ocean? No, you had a life to live. You had a family right over there. Your children—they needed you. They wanted you. And look what you've done. You've left them alone in badlands with no family. I hope you. I hope they'll forgive you one day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> the, I hope they'll forgive you one day part of that. I don't know where that came from, but I found it humorous.
that was that may have seemed like I don't know why I'm talking about it this recently, but like lately I've been like worried like I'm not funny or like I try too hard to be funny. And then, like, I do weird spur-of-the-moment bits like that, and that kind of just validates the point that, yes, I do try a little too hard to be funny. Um, and sometimes, my brain will go, hey, you're saying this now, you don't get a choice in the matter. <laughs> oh, goodness. But hey, we popped the, the slime, even though it turns out it wasn't a slime key one, it just takes us back to our farm. Hello! Phospho... Phospho's? Phospho... Phosphors. I don't know why I said Phospho's. That doesn't... That's not words. I really like this victory ornament, by the way. I'll have to find somewhere good for it. I really like the hunter ones up here. Those are nice. Did we unlock the cave? I feel like we did. Right now, you're gonna go here and here. Can these go back in? No. Okay, so we'll have to fill up our backpack on this. Uh, yin and yang. Interesting. Or the angels and devils on your shoulders. That's very cool. Very creative. I dig it. Um, I, I really find the whole yin yang thing very interesting. Because, one thing, I, I know it's a bit more common knowledge, but also something still people don't know, is that the reason for the dot, like, there's the dark dot in the yin, or the, there's a dot in the yin and a dot in the yang, to represent that, like, pure good and pure evil aren't really existent. It's more so, there's forces of good and forces of bad, and there has to be bits of light and dark, and bits of dark in the light, so that way each can exist. Um... Okay, we didn't unlock that yet, I can't remember. And, I don't know, I have, from a philosophical standpoint, it's always really been compelling to me. As someone who tries to be as truly, like, light, per light, like, as in, like, bright and uplifting, but also, like, morally, I try to be as lawful, as good, as... I don't want to say holy, because that's almost flamboyant, and it's not what I try to do. I try to be as morally irrefutable as I can for the sake of my own conscience and for making me feel like I'm a person that deserves to keep going, you know? Um, and, but the yin-yang views it a different way. They view that there's no true good, true bad. There's darkness in the light and there's light in the darkness, and you have to have a balance of that. To the point where even pure light could corrupt if it were to exist. As it would shut out everything Truly everything, not just the bad. And I've always found that very intriguing. Are we really talking about Asian psychology, uh, Asian uh, philosophy at 12.10 in the afternoon? You bet your butt we are. <laughs> and I am here for it. I'm really glad I decided to stream a few minutes early, because I'm already, like, feeling myself loosen up than I was earlier. Because today started off rough, but... We have a lot of carrots. I need to find a good use for carrots. The problem is, they're nothing's favorite. So, like... Let me see, we've got... Crystal and Rad over here, right? So we should probably start growing Aka Akas. Because I believe Aka Akas are the favorite of the rats. We should start growing those instead. Because we have one. I think that would be a good course of action. Where is it? Here it is. Let me double check. Yes, Aka is a veggie. So we're going to start growing this. Also, um, I'm very excited to say, by the way, a week, a week from now, Saturday, well, a week from yesterday, Saturday, um, is Safe in Our World is starting a week of charity streams here on Twitch. And I'm going to be taking place in three of them, which is very exciting. Um, the Fall Guys thing went well enough that, like, I was able to apply to these guys and be like, hey, um, Lamadia sent me. And Lamadia is awesome. 
So they're like, yes, we would love to have you. So I will be doing Minecraft, Fall Guys, and uh, Among Us in that week. Streaming five hours with other people for that. And I am setting... I ha I will, I'll give you the exact time slot. I'll, like, I'll tell people the exact time slot when I've chosen it. But during that week as well, I'm going to do a solo stream with, like, the donation link enabled, like, is, is if I were streaming with them, doing, like, a mental health wellness talk. Like, talking about my past experiences with mental health and all that sort of jazz from my own personal experience, my own personal perspective. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um... Not entirely sure what kind of context I'll do it in. Like, if it'll be like a... I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm, it's going to happen. <laughs> My mother is sending me a message. Let me see if she's okay. She is okay. There we go. I accidentally... I referenced an internet thing and she was confused. Um... <laughs> Because I'm the person who teaches her all the internetness, and I'm not there. So whenever like I accidentally reference a new internet thing, it's always it's I always find it kind of funny. And she'll be like, "Okay, is this an internet thing? And if it is, like, can you teach me what this is so I can be hip and with it?" And it just it's so pure to me. Having uh, the final sip of my Pepsi. Uh, Jawa says, "Congrats! Look forward to watching if you can." Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, if you cannot watch it, I will be putting the VODs of the whole thing, like all the streams we do that week, up on my YouTube. YouTube is basically slowly becoming VODland. I'll probably, I'll keep doing like MC Eternal, probably, and like some non-live content. Um, Siege, like I'll probably, I'll probably stream Siege, but like those voiceover videos things will probably keep going on there. The edited stuff actually has to take a break, because I currently um, don't actually have a way to uh, do audio at the moment. I'm working on fixing that. My good headset, uh, the cord died on it. The good headset I've had for ages. It's It has a replaceable cord, but I had to go and find a replacement, you know, which takes time. Also, these boys are just so wonderfully adorable. Can we just, can we get some appreciation for these cute boys? They're super deadly if you go anywhere near them, but like... To admire from a distance, absolute queens, or kings, or other miscellaneous royalty. They can decide what kind of crown they wear, what kind of title they wield. I am not one to decide my children's, uh, my children's alignments in that regard. We have made a lot of port money today, holy cow. And you keep exploding! Ow! <laughs> Uh, uh, we should probably go get uh, more water friends. We could have more of them. Um, this one is done. We can afford to do higher walls on this. Oh, I need to grab these. We'll buy higher walls for this. Ooh, and a mu music box as well. They'll explode less often with that. Any upgrades needed here? Nope. In which case, we'll drop off these boom ports. Head over to that neck of the woods for at least more Puddle Boys. We could probably do something else. Um, I'm sure there's other things in that area we've not done yet. Hey, we got the Transplorter achievement. Poggers. Um, but yeah, we will head over and do that. Also, hello to everyone who is watching. I see we have much more viewers than usual, which I absolutely appreciate. I love that. Hope you guys are enjoying your time here. Just doing some laid back start, but not Stardew Valley trip. Quit calling it that. Slime Rancher. I've been playing too much Slime Rancher lately. Too much Stardew Valley lately, and I keep saying one instead of the other. But they're both like farming games that give me an intense, an, an intense feeling of inner peace, and apparently uh, discombobulate my dialogue as well. <laughs> Is a unintended but present side effect of both. All right, we're just gonna outrun these boys. Sorry. We've unlocked the air drive. Consumes less energy, but produces double the fun. We like fun here. Especially, we would prefer if it was triple the fun. Triple the fun, we would go back and buy it, but it's only double the fun, so we may hold off on that upgrade. 
Hello, friends. See if anything catches my eye. For whatever reason, this particular, like, land formation, my computer hates. And it always makes, like, a <sighs> noise when we get here. Even though it is plenty strong enough to run games much more graphically intense than this. Just for whatever reason, that one particular place makes my computer a little angry. Also, I'm still getting used to playing it on a uh, keyboard and mouse. For years, I played it on controller. I have a controller I could plug in and use, but like, I'm I I don't mind keyboard and mouse. I just got used to it. Also, keyboard's a little bit better on my joints. Um, Halo Spartan character. His Spartan tag is J4W4. Nice. Dude, I've not played Halo in forever. Um, last time I played Halo was I played, I did a Halo 1v1 with Stampy in Halo 1 uh, from the Master Chief Collection on Xbox. That would have been about two years ago. Oh god, that made me feel so old. That was already like two years ago. Ah. <laughs> but it's, I'm, I'm looking forward to the new Halo. Not sure if I'm gonna have it or play it, but I'm looking forward to it existing, you know, for just to, for people in general to obtain, even if I necessarily can't uh, buy it because I will not have the. Uh, it's gonna be Xbox One X, which I do not have. I think it's called the One X. I was, they made too many things with too similar of names. They always all get confused in my brain. I remember, I'm pretty sure there's something like big in this area still we haven't done. Besides, like, you know, pop the Gordos or pop the pop. The, oh, we don't have energy left. Oh, that was so dumb. <laughs> oh, that was so dumb. I was just walking and talking and jumping and flying away and forgot I didn't have any jetpack energy and just fell to my death. I think Bob wants chickens, by the way. Just just maybe Bob wants some chickens. That was really embarrassing, by the way. <laughs> Ch chickens? Ch chickens. <laughs> we may do chickens. We'll see. Hello, friends. I activate both of these scooper scoopers, swoopers, suckers, whatever you want to call them. Hello. We gotta collect this stuff. The reason I'm saving up so much money, by the way, is I want to open probably Slime Labs or that bit over there where I typically like to make a, like a bit of a growery for everything. May come on PC, uh, Master Chief Collection is over there too. Yes, uh, I know it is on PC as well now. Um, you were came with the DLC parts. Yes, um, I am aware that it is on PC now. I just currently do not have income to buy myself video games. So there's a lot of games that I could play, but I do not have the money to obtain to play. And that, ooh. What are you? I put the wrong food in here. Oh, no, it's fine. You're good. You're good, Jawa. Fret not. It's cross-platform, too. See, that I didn't know. I didn't know it was cross-platform. Because I do still have the old disc for my Xbox version. I didn't realize it was cross-platform with the PC peeps. That's a, that's a good good job by them. I know Microsoft's been advocating for more cross-platform stuff. Even, like, cross-company stuff as well, which is really cool, but also very unlike Microsoft in the past. So I'm trepidatious about it. But I think it does appear to be, like, a genuinely, like, good... Well, as good-natured as Microsoft can be. Which I'll take, you know. All 
All right, we'll sell these ports, and we'll take a look at what we c uh, can buy or save up for, because I don't remember how much everything costs, I'll be honest. Also, the port market is, like, all red arrows down. Literally, it's entirely red arrows down. I don't know if that's because I died or because it's a coincidence. If it's because I uh, k got KO'd, that's kind of funny. <laughs> is that I affect the port market enough that me, like, basically oversleeping causes a problem to the overall stock market equivalent. The lab's 10k. Oh, I think you actually have to unlock the lab in order to get the ability to open those little capsules. The grotto is really cheap. Yeah, well, just buy the grotto. It's only 1700 Now we can start doing phosphors. We could do phosphor pinks for slime science. Because I know you need those both for slime science, but they're not particularly worth much. We could use the carrots for that. We'll buy the overgrow too, why not? I could have sworn these were all much more expensive things to purchase, but really does not appear to be the case. This area in here is where I tend to do, like, normally I make all of these, but like maybe one of them fruit trees. Or, like, uh, veggie things. Grab some pogos. Pogos before I go goes. Hello, friends. Oh, I, for ow, I forgot the slimes do damage to you. Oh, there's another cat. Cat friend. Another victory ornament. Beach ball! Beach ball! <laughs> okay, wait, see if we can hit it off our head, ready? Did it just go through me? Oh, come on, come on. We can play toys, we can play games, we're fun, we're hip, we're hip with it. Oh, and we missed. Apparently we are not hip or with it. It's official. We are neither hip nor with it. Condolences. Um. Oh, there's a log over here. I used to come to this beach to think. I'd sit and stare at those distant rings and ruminate on who created them and for what purpose. But most of all, I'd sit here and I'd think of her. Don't ask what that voice was. Okay, I had fun with it. <laughs> H, whoever H is, will get to, to uh, have my serious but older, more seasoned voice. That I think I like the sound of, but that might just be because it vibrates more in my throat and thus feels satisfying to use. It may just sound completely incoherent. I'll never know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. There's a slime key over here. Uh, slime key door over here. We'll grab some... Uh... Where does this connect to? I think, yeah, this connects to the place we were earlier with the ferals. Um, so we don't want to open that slime gate. <gasps> oh my god. That was risky. Hello there, meow meow. Well, Meow Meow is the name for thingy. Still in your pajamas, lol? Honestly, I would be too if I didn't have to have go get lunch earlier. Even if uh, they changed the menu up on me before I got there. So my lunch today was a donut. Uh, <laughs> that is the only reason I'm not wearing PJs presently. I've done a great number of my streams in PJs. It's okay. We're collecting fruits, because we gotta eventually do the- oh, there's another log. 
I built this area myself by spreading soil from the moss blanket all over the ground just to see what would happen. I was hoping it would attract a hunter slime or two, but no such luck. Maybe I need to get some of them big mushrooms to grow here. They sure seem to like hanging around those things. I don't think we've gotten um, hunters yet. Even where you're paying uh, PJs in public, lol. Honestly, I would if I could. Oh no, I have. Bef I've done it before. Um, I do remember I have specifically done that at one point. It was quite humorous. Because I'm a college student, so I can get away get away with it a bit. Um, we are going to try and put. Actually, we'll just put you here. Down there's a good area too, but let me get some charge. There we are. Oh. Why did I think that took me back to the core farm? I don't know. Then again, that would be kind of useless teleporter if it just took you from here to here. But, hey. I can put my own teleporter there later. <laughs> Do we have pogo fruit in here? We don't. We will, though. Actually, let's grow a... Uh, Grow one of each of these. My voice did that thing again. I didn't even mean for it to that time. I don't know if anyone noticed, but my voice went automatically down to here without me meaning to partway through that sentence. I don't know why. Uh, we want tank boosters. Um, and we'll take air drive. It was kind of funny though. I was just talking it away, and my voice went down here. This should be enough to give us our, uh, pop the tabby. I have messages. Hello. Who is thou? Well, I know who it is, but, like... I will respond to that later. Definitely didn't just sneakily take a Snapchat streaks photo while I'm actively playing a game. I definitely didn't do that. Um, let's see. Our plaid. I'll be honest, I think I've only ever owned like a single pair of plaid pajamas in my life. And it was like our my special Christmas PJs that I only wore for like holidays. Alright, let's go grab more. You're insatiable. I mean, you are eventually satiable. It just takes a while. Also, me kind of getting lost earlier, despite the fact that there is a little house icon that shows through walls. Remarkable. Um, Pogo fruit tree will go right here. I've decided. Garden purchase. Pogo. That's not Pogo. But that's okay. This one will be Pogo then. Purchase. Pogo. Yoink. Oh, that was my wrist cracking. Ow. <laughs> Unpleasant. Need more hen hens, please. Oh. No, I'm not supposed to be able to see you that close. I'm supposed to be able to put you in my backpack without thinking of the moral consequences of my actions. We'll keep, we'll keep the roosters because we do eventually want to set this up correctly. I forgot there was a sprint button this whole time. Uh, we want nutrient soil, please. And that, please. And here we want those things, please. Yoink. Perfect. Ooh. Neck crack. My joints are very crack a lacking today. What you doing? Oh! You're deciding to change your diet around. I understand. It should be close. It's shaking. 
And it's bacon. Bacon in three, two, one. Perfect. Clip it. <laughs> oh. If I had done that and then got... Also, this somehow isn't a... Uh, whoop. Oh my god, it's just another teleporter. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I want a slime key. <laughs> Please. You didn't see that, chat. Um, I just want a slime key, my dudes. Where even am I? I'm on a, a remote island. What is on this remote island, I ask? Pray tells the game. Hi. You're adorable. There better be something up here. Oh, well there's a tar down there, so... There's nothing up here, it looks like, except just a pretty view. Oh, and something up there. Hi, what are you? You're a pink Gordo. I didn't know you existed. Outside of the event, guys. Cool. So we can just feed you anything and you'll pop if we get you enough. So the carrots are going to be very nice for you, specifically. This over here looks important as well, so we're going to check this out. Or is this just... Oh, this might just be leading you to that Gordo, actually. Yeah, it appears it's just, like, stuff around you to lead it to it, so you don't have to go that weird, janky way I did. But it's okay, I like the weird, janky way I went. Made me feel important. Um, so we're gonna take... Uh, don't ask. I don't know what I mean. Um, some carrots. Probably bring these hen hens too to that uh, to that pink. Because I can't imagine that's another teleporter. I think that's finally another slime key. We can actually probably check. No. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to try. Also, remember how we were like, hey, we have so much money? We burned through that money so quickly. <laughs> I think we'll need a bit more than 41 items, so I think we'll bring these cube berries with us too. All of them but one, anyways. Going on an adventure! But now we have to tr get back up there again. That's a less pleasant adventure. Oh, what am I doing? We figured out there's an easier way to get there. But we're still going to take my janky way up, I think. Because we can. Hello there, Mr. Pink Slime. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Lay sigh, I guess we have to go up a more normal people way. Because we goofed the jump up. Hello, carrots. 
they're good for your eyesight, except they're not. Carrots aren't actually good for your eyesight. Wow, we need exactly 30 items. Slime key, heck yes. Uh, ate my carrot. I'll take the hen hen. You guys can have the carrot. I'll permit it. We got a slime key. Mm, bottle hoff. Um, there's a tar down there who we're going to elect to ignore. Oh, I thought there was something cool. It's just another torch. Unless this torch is leading us to something cool. Maybe it is. But probably not. Yeah, that's a lot of tars, so we're just gonna go. We're just gonna bounce. Um... Um, I, I hope you don't IRL resemble a demon. That would, um, not be ideal, presumably. So look at all the pink slimes in there. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. You do you. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get up as high as I am. These cube berries are growing very nicely. Also, cube berries. This should be about enough cube berries to get the thing from the, 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 the you know, the blah blah blah. No, the uh, the phosphor gordo underneath that first area. Have you read this one? Yes, we did. Talks about the hunters. You know what, yeah, let's go check on Phosphor Boy. We'll bring some pogos with us too, just in case we're shorthanded. I don't think we'll be shorthanded, but it doesn't hurt to over prepare. When over preparing is not directly an inconvenience. You look like a human too. That, yeah. Typically, looking like a human is preferable to looking at not human. If given the choice. Then again, I don't typically feel human either, so, like, <laughs> take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> For some reason in my head, I had that ordered as take that with a salt of grain, which I know is absolutely not how that expression goes. Look at that. How are you all the way up there? You literally went higher than the moon. Guys, you sent one of your friends to the moon without a helmet on. Are you mad? Are you mad? I think they're crazy, Mr. Pink Phosphor Gordo. Largo. Sorry. <laughs> I think I offended him. Run. <laughs> Oh no, we jumped down at the wrong area. The the dude is further on. I love how happy all the phosphors look all the time. It's great. It's over here. Hi, buddy. We have some num nums for you. Consume. We had the right amount exactly again. We are absolutely legendary. Nope. No, 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 nope. We've, some, we've not picked up a phosphor slime before, <laughs> apparently.
We don't need this many phosphor slimes though. That's that's true. That's factual. But we have this many now, so guess we're gonna stick with that many. We now have two slime keys, so we're gonna drop off these phosphors at home because we're gonna use some of them. We're gonna drop off six of them. So one, two, three, four can stay here with their fa friends and family. The rest are coming with me because we're gonna we're gonna have uh, largo them up, but I haven't entirely decided what we're gonna largo them into. I'd be if you believe in ghosts, but a few people have felt ghostly presences around me, especially at night slash serious. Um, I I my views on ghosts are interesting because I am uh, I've talked about it before. I'm a Christian, like um, pretty firm ish in that. I not ish. I'm pretty firm in that. And most Christians would say no, they don't believe in ghosts, except for the Holy Ghost. That'll be their go-to excuse. Um, I, I think there's a surprising amount of something that there are, I don't know how you want to call it, spirits, essences, whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of extraterrestrial, not extraterrestrial, supernatural kind of phantasm, phantasm that exists. Just because I, I myself have had weird things that cannot be explained scientifically speaking in that regard. And Christians will typically only believe in something like demons, which none of mine would make sense for a demon. Not like I, I kind of would, but it wouldn't at the same time, you know, because demons are more hurtful, like exclusively like. Steel kill and destroy. Uh, that's what we know about them, basically. So it doesn't logically make a lot of sense. So I could be persuaded that things like ghosts existed. I could see it. Whether or not ghosts are, whether or not our view of what they are is correct, I would n don't think. I don't think we understand them or know what they are exactly. But I think we're on the right track in the fact that they exist. Up all night. Apparently it's the first time we've been up all night in game. Um, but yeah, it's an, it's an interesting thing. Um, I, I don't mind telling the story. Uh, one of the churches that I went to... Um, well, actually both of them. I had uh, supernatural, ghost-like... Some sort of inhuman interaction. Or, it, like, experience. That logically... You'd say ghost, probably. And so, like, hearing footsteps behind you and there's no one there, feeling incredibly cold along with it, and, like, a presence that's not you and not another person. You know for a fact you're there entirely alone, but in a way where there's physical manifestation outside of just sheer paranoia. Um... The one church I worked at, like, as a kid, for many, many years, I think basically every single person who worked there at any amount of time will have some kind of ghost-like story to tell you, just because that's probably the only place I've been, or if I just, if someone was like, right, name one place in the world that's haunted, that you know for without a shadow of a doubt, that building would be what I'd say immediately. Because, holy cow, I don't know anyone who has not been there for a period of time, like a decent period of time, without encountering something like it. It varied in terms of, like, how scary and severe it was, or, like, like, a lot of parts of it would vary. Like, it wasn't consistent. But it kept occurring without other people knowing that it was occurring to other people. And typically I would want to, like, it's kind of hard to write it off when so like such a sheer multitude of people, different experiences, different people unaware of any of the other people saying anything about it or it existing to any of them, um, being saying like right okay, I was here and I felt something that wasn't that was like supernatural. A lot of people who told me about this didn't believe in the supernatural. That's why they're asking me about it, and. It's interesting to me. Very interesting to me. I've had many discussions like this with my siblings who have been there, seen similar things. 
uh, saw ghosts around me in my sleep ever since I slept with my door closed. It frightened them and I felt bad. I used to live in a haunted house a few years ago. Wow, okay, that's terrifying. Seeing ghosts around you while you sleep, yeah, that's a whole nother level of what the heck. Um, thankfully, uh, to my knowledge, I don't have any ghostly babysitters. Um, but, uh, yeah. I'm not... If I had to, like, put words to it, I don't really... I don't think I am haunted or anything, or, like, I'm predisposed, because they'll say, like, certain people are predisposed to, uh, abnormal, uh, what's, what's the word for it? It's not abnormalities, it's, it's, it's a word like that, that basically means, like, you're more likely to encounter things that are of the less natural nature. I wouldn't really say I'm one of those, even though I do have a few more stories than the average person, a few bit more experience than the average person, um... But it's, it's interesting to me. It's always been something that's intrigued me. For better or for worse. Ooh. Loading symbol in the top right. Hello. <laughs> I don't often see the loading thing when it's happening. I'm normally paying attention to other things, but that's how I notice it. Um... Is this the rad Gordo in here? Oh, it's a slime key. We're gonna use one. Why not? Hello. Oh, I've heard about this place. Okay. I'm somewhat familiar with this place's existence. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Big door with a pretty slime on the front. Um, I don't know much about this place, and I do not want spoilers about it, but it's very cool. There's a tabby. I don't know how you get the little gems in their mouths. I don't know how you do that. There's another slime key door here. Let me look on the map and see where this leads. Okay, we've not been here either, so we'll probably use another key here. Use it as like a pass-through. Two... On the other side, moss blanket! Hey, we found the moss blanket! Let's go! There's a briar hen. Hello, briar hen. One and two. Hello, you. Um, this is where we can get things like hunters. Hunter slimes. I love these mushrooms, by the way. They're vibing. What? What? <laughs> I don't know. I assume that's like a splash mark that just kind of glitched out. This game is just... It gives me such warm feelings in my heart. And I don't mean, uh... After, uh heartburn. Afterburn. I, ac I accidentally said afterburn. <laughs> Let's read the H entry. The first time I went exploring the moss blanket, I got stuck here so I constructed a way out. It's just up yonder. Nice. Oh, it's right here. I remember this. I have vague memories of this. Hee <laughs> hee. Sploosh. That was fun. Um, let's go look for things. Look for new things, besides just Briar Boy. Briar Boy and Briar Gal. Well, they're both gals, they're hens. Briar sisters, one might say. I think this is one of those huge mushrooms they were talking about. <laughs> just maybe. Crate. Yabo. No. I know the, um, the hunters like these briar hens, so we'll probably hold on to at least one of them. Another H entry. Also there's a yarn ball. The moss blanket has seen, may seem like an ancient jungle of sorts. The fact is much more of what you see here wasn't even around when I first began exploring this land. 
At this rate, I reckon it won't be long before the greenery completely overtakes the far, far range. Interesting. Oh, hello, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter, not the anime. Gotcha. Ooh, Hunter Phosphor. That could be cool. <gasps> Honey! I might be deadly allergic to you, but you're adorable and I want to be your friend. <laughs> that was... I got my honey friend. Honey friend. Honey friend. Yay. Oh, lucky slime. Lucky slime. I want your money. I want your money, lucky. I want your money, lucky. Bye-bye. Thank you for the money. I don't know how much I got, but I got money. Um, what is the button to open up the thing? Do I remember? No. Am I going to check it? Yes. Uh, we want slime's honey. Mint mango. You're a fruit boy. So maybe phosphor honey. And then hunter something. Your favorite's a roostro. Is it just any? Oh, yeah, you don't you don't like the bribes, you like the roostros, primarily. Interesting. Hi, boom. Um, here's a honey. Well, it's a honey mix. If we have a honey, we have a hunter. So we could get more of each now. Can we see what's the favorite of, let's see, resources. Briar hen. Booms prefer briars. Interesting. I misunderstood. Like, I misremembered, rather, not misunderstood. It's pretty written in clear, plain text. Um, let's go, because there is a lot of tars, and we don't have a water gun. We did not find a mint mango on our journey. So I'm going to keep looking for one of those. Because we would like a mint mango before we go, if possible. Um, though, actually, we have... We have Q-berry, so if we do honey, phosphor, we're good. But what do we want to pair the hunters with? Slimes. We've got... We don't have tabbies. Tabbies are also a, a food one. And they prefer the stony hens. So that's possible. So we've got... Okay, we've got crystal rads. We've got boom rocks. Yeah, basically we just need one more to pair with the hunters. I'd be fine to pair... Oh, no. Uh, I should get... Oh, there we go. Mint mango. Nice. Um, what was I saying? Oh, here's another log. Is this the same log? Yes. Same log. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of what do we want to pair with what. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Phosphor. <laughs> You're in a very unfortunate place in time. But hey, I'm happy we have the hunter, happy we have the honey. Both wonderful slimes do I love. I'd probably be do... Uh, I don't know if I want to handle, like, deal with the whole breeding of hen hens for regular food. I don't think I want to go through that. So we might do honey hunters. And phosphor something else. I kind of like that idea. Honey hunters, maybe phosphor tabbies or phosphor pinks? Because we probably won't be primarily selling the phosphors. We'll probably be using those primarily for slime science when we get to that. I would wager anyways. But if we do honey hunters, we need more honeys or hunters before we leave. We need them not to get eaten alive. Slime map. Thank God. There's a lot here. Including a teleporter over there. We should go to that TP. That'd be a good place for us to go. Because it appears it's a an a active one. Not one we have to activate. Uh, um, yeah. It looks like we should head that way. Where, where is that way? That way is the opposite way of where I'm going. Cool. This way. <laughs> Oh, goodness. 
So while we go, we need to keep an eye out for hunters and honeys. Hunters are hard to see, though. That was a big explosion. I assume that was a boom. Big bada boom. Yep, big bada boom. Oh, there's a present box. I didn't I, that I missed last time. We've got one of those. Hello, friends. Just doing a head count for any of the friends I need. They are not present. If I hit M. Wow, we went super the wrong way. <laughs> We're now back at this bit. Which is fine. We can probably get home from here. I'm kind of happy I'm lost. I enjoy getting lost in this game. Typically, I enjoy getting lost in it figuratively, not literally, but I'll take what I can get. Again, I still don't know how to get these gems. I don't know if it's like you have to break a Largo, a Gordo of each color? Maybe? Or if it's like, specifically you need to do certain special things to unlock them, each. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my computer is being incredibly loud. Which it is not normally. Normally it's very quiet. Oh, the reason I can't, like, the reason there's so much more on the map because of this door. That I cannot access. Boop. We'll head back. If anyone in chat knows if I should prioritize honeys or hunters more, let me know. Because I would ideally... Here we go. Because one of these will start, like, not growing, but you know. One of them will start raising, one of them I won't. For now, they're both going in the box. You can't go in the box. Cool. Um. <laughs> I accidentally, it's like, what is this? <laughs> Why is this? Um. Will you escape in here? You know what? Yeah, probably. We'll put the honeys in here, though. We will dismantle the pogo, or change the pogo out to mint. Uh, remove crop. Mint. Murder mystery map you made on Bedrock at Media Fire and already has 10 downloads overnight. Very exciting! I'm happy for you, Jella. It sounds exciting. It sounds exciting indeed. I can speak. I speak English the fluently. Um. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Um, Victor, what do you want? No. <laughs> nah. You're still doing steady, and you're... Okay, so we've got a lot of money here. <laughs> a lot of money is here for us. Corral. High walls, music box, plort, and auto feeder. You're going in there, son. You've got the money, I don't mind. I saw a slime over there. Or I thought I did, anyways. I'll take a look. Can't guarantee I'll do it, because I, you know, don't really have people to do it with, but I'll take a look. It's not really my cup of tea, but... I'll check it out if for no other reason other than my, uh, my interest. My, uh, not interest, it's... what's the word I'm looking for? Curiosity. Thanks, Brian.
It's gonna take a few. Ow! It's gonna take a few trips of this. Oh, what am I? Let me at least grab some puddles or something. Hey, friends. Thank you, chaps. You are a loved and appreciated part of this farm. How are you over here? Riddle me that. How the frick did you get over there? <laughs> See, hunters sell for 68 each. Honey sell for 50 each. Phosphor sell, sell for 20 each. Ooh, that's big disparity. So probably hunter honeys. And pink phosphor. We'll do pink phosphors for slime science. In that case, let's put them all together. No, you got the best of both worlds. Um, that's a problem. We'll deal with that. Now I think about it. Okay, so we need to feed you a roostro. I, I I know how I got to do this. Um, we'll feed the hunter a roostro. We'll feed one honey a mint mango. And that will produce enough to largo all three of our current buddies. Um, and yeah, I'm getting a lot of explosion damage. Used to be survival world years a long time ago, but lost popularity when it went with... Uh, gotcha. Cool. A quick new buck. <laughs> Not another achievement. Well-off rancher. Loading market prices, I broke something. Oh no, it's because it's midnight, that's why. Prices change at midnight, duh. Um, so yeah, we want one Roostro. We want both of these friends. Come with me if you want to live. A very comfortable life. <laughs> I know you're in here, Hunter. Oi, Hunter. Eat your food. Now, each honey, eat his poo. Okay, that sounded worse than I anticipated. Do we have a music box? We'll put an air net just on for safety. Ow! Oh, I forgot the hunter makes things more aggressive. That's what the hunter does. So we'll just stay away from that. Yeah. Um... Ah. <laughs> the honey or the hunters are cute, but why do they just have to be so mean? You know? Why you gotta be so mean and a liar and pathetic and alone in life and mean and mean and mean. Anyone else remember that song? Someday I'll be Big enough so you can't hit me. And all you're ever gonna be is mean. Why you gotta be so mean? I do not uh, claim to have a good singing voice, but that will not stop me from occasionally singing for my own reasons. The mint mangoes aren't done growing yet, so you guys. You guys each get one tasty Q-berry for yourselves. How does that sound? I'm going to watch and see if they'll actually eat it. They will. Okay, cool. I wish... Yeah, again, I wish there was like an upgrade, even if it was expensive, to auto-harvest those so they don't go bad. Excuse me, children. Who gave you permission to be out of your house? Out of your Out of your house? It wasn't me, I'll tell you that for free. Better singing voice than me. Okay, don't... My singing voice is bad, so therefore don't insult yourself. <laughs> I enjoy singing for no other reason other than, like... I used to be a good singer. There was a time where Trip was good. Then I was forced to sing 
uh, bass exclusively because she ha our music teacher had no bass singers who would sing so all right before I left the ranch I found myself sleeping most nights in this grotto I'd fill it full of phosphorus slimes and watch them dance in the dark drifting off I'd pretend I was drifting in a sea of stars across a limitless black of space it's funny how when you dream you sure become a sucker for the impossible Every time I woke to find myself back in the grotto, I'd feel a little sadness. But then it was back to work, and there was always something that needed doing. I don't know why, I find H's, like, those memoirs, like, really, almost, like, gut-wrenching. I don't know why. Because it's someone who's like writing about what he loves, but also he's exhausted at the same time, and he's and he misses. Um, I guess I assume it's his wife, and it's I don't know. It really hits me in the feels for some reason, in a way I would not anticipate from a game like this. Yep, sorry for the one rogue heartbeat. That's mine. Oh, see what, oh, one thing I gotta remember to do. I have to round up six pink plorts for those phosphors. I gotta remember to do that. Actually, let me go do that now. Let me go try and find them. Um, are you three are just here putting along. Are you all three grown up? Uh uh. Yes, you are all three grown up, I believe. Ow. Yes, you are. I am now certain because I've taken damage. Ow. Stop it. I love. They really glanced over the fact that, like, how dangerous the slime rancher profession is. Ow. All right, let's go get ourselves six pink plorts. Should be very easy. Hello. Grab some carrots for this mission. Hello there. Uh, you will consume one of these, and you will be happy. See, I told you so. Can carrot. Thank you. Nope, nope. There we go. It's four? No, no, you're not coming with me. I'm sorry, friend. You can have one. No, your big brother stole it. I'm sorry. Your big brother stole it. No, he didn't steal it. Are you going to let your, your little brother have the carrot? Maybe if I can actually hit him with the carrot. Here you go. Enjoy your carrot, sweetie. No. No, little brother's not little anymore. That's depressing. I wonder if that's how my siblings felt. <laughs> Probably not. Um, Catch. No. You're not going to be all esports. You're just going to eat it. Thank you. Have one for the road, kids. All right, we've got our. Oh. In the arms of the angels, fly away. Boop. <laughs> Is it bad that I sang one of them to death? No. Is it bad that I laughed while it happened? Yeah. <laughs> A little. Einstein, that I sphere for sex. I can count.
Oh, there's our last buddy. Consume. Consume, sweet child. Consume! Beautiful. I'm gonna check my... My stuffs. Discord's rocking and rolling. My, uh... D and D DM was talking to me, but I'm streaming, so I didn't see him as uh, she was sending me the messages. Because uh, I have session tomorrow. It's because tomorrow's Monday. I have D and D sessions every Monday and Wednesday for two different campaigns. Um, I came up with an amazing backup character. Should my blade singer wizard die? He's a warforged, so. She made the good point of, since he's a Warforged, he probably wouldn't die in the typical sense. And we could, he'd be easier to revive than, like, a person. Because he's, he's a magical consciousness, more so than he is, like, flesh and blood flappy skinned human being. But, um, if for some reason he were to be, like, I don't know, killed by the Disintegrate spell, for instance. Um, my backup character would be a, um would be like an artificer engineer who would build Warforged and like the death of a, f a famous Warforged like him like the news of that death would make him be like right enough of this I'm done making things for them to just be mercilessly killed it's time to start avenging my creations I thought that was a really genius backup character idea um, rather than my first character, I was forced to have my character die between sessions, uh, between campaigns, because he wanted to do a time jump, and even though I was a race that, you know, like, I was a elf, so they live longer, he was like, no, 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 he's gotta die. You don't have a choice, he's gotta die. Um, this DM was not, the, was not good. Um, very DM nightmares material. And I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, and so I literally just... Not a true son, but, like, it was already, like, canonically, he was a druid thing. So we're, like, the essence of the same druid passed on to another another person willing to defend the forest or whatever. I don't remember the exact excuse I used. I was mostly just bitter that, like, I was forced to have the character die when logically it wouldn't make sense for him to have. But I never actually had a character die die. I've never, like, been TPK'd, I've never, I've never had any of that. I've never had that part of the D&D experience, for better or for worse. I've had party members die. Uh, like, I've had party members from that crappy campaign die. Like, a lot of them. Like, there was a lot of character death in that campaign. The fact I didn't die is probably a miracle. But, um, recently, on Christmas, I... Oh god, that's not recently anymore. Ah, on Christmas we had a player die. It uh, during the Christmas special, like we had like a Christmas episode, where like not like you know we treated it as like a Christmas episode, where our party got kidnapped by Krampus, and it was amazing. It was great, and the DM's like, okay, Krampus has like Krampus knows you know, roll a dexterity saving throw. So we all do a dex check. This was my rogue I've talked about, Atravik, or Otto. Uh, I've talked about him before. And so he obviously did fine on it, because we weren't at the level where he had the uh, the good rogue ability, the evasion. He didn't have that yet. We never got to that high of a level. Uh, the part campaign ended at, like, fourth level or fifth level. And so I obviously succeeded. We had a kobold warlock who succeeded, barely, by like one, I think. And then our, uh, we had a character who was playing an artificer, temporarily like took a time out from the artificer and swapped to a princess, which is basically just like a less killy paladin. Um, I was not a big fan of it, the homebrew class was very poorly made. As someone who makes D&D homebrew as, like, a hobby, it was not... Uh, she didn't make it, so it's not like I'm talking crap about her. She's an awesome person. Um, one of the my favorite people I've met since starting college. 
um, absolute gem. Uh, so, so I can I can diss the homebrew and it's not dissing her because it's not her creation. Um, anyways, so it was very poorly balanced, very poorly made, didn't really do a lot, but she failed the dexterity saving throw by like a lot. I want to say it was like by a factor of nine. And it's like, uh, the DM's like, just so you know, like, if you have inspiration, use it, because this is going to do a lot of damage. As she explains that Krampus, in his frustration at our discovery, is tipping the snow globe over. Like, he's picking it up and he's tipping it over. So we're going to be falling a long distance. And we're like, oh, okay, okay, we've got inspiration, we'll use them. Two of us used our inspiration die on her. Nothing. Still no dice. I, she had a dexterity of 12, I believe, which means she had a plus one to the roll. So she needed a good roll, or like a decent roll anyways, because the DM was being merciful, or doing her best anyways. And we're like, okay. So, looks like we're not getting out of this the, the normal way. I'll give you 10 seconds as characters to try and save her. You know, like a like an, an action, basically, or a bonus action. Slightly more than, like, a full combat turn to try and save her as she's falling. I'm like, okay. Um, shape water. You know? Um, my character is an arcane trickster who used, like, a cool version of... I, I believe I've read this one. I have. Um, I, he used a lot of shape water. Sure, we'll use shape water, make a platform underneath her for her to stand on. Like, great idea, um, like, I'll just roll that that works, but, um, since, you know, this player's character is heavy, being a dragonborn, or, like, a reflavored drag dragonborn, I'm gonna have to roll strength against your spell save DC for the ice to hold up. And I'm like, you know what, yeah, totally makes sense, um, it should be fine, my spell save DC was very good, uh, most of my... The campaigns I've been in have been point by, uh, but this was a dice roll one, and I didn't roll my, I, like, I rolled a ton of tries, and the DM chose from one. They were all very good, or they were all very awful, which tends to always be the case for me. So my int was good, my dex was amazing, um, everything else was garbage, but that's okay, because it was kind of funny. Um, so, like, I'm fine, like, it'll, it'll pass the check, because she said it only had to be, like, a DC 15 or something. Which is not too bad. And lo and behold, uh, I get a nat one on my spell save. On my this uh blah, blah, blah. the DM uh, did a sorry, the DM did a had me roll like a spell check. To see if my ice would hold under her weight. So it was this character's strength. Her strength was terrible, by the way. Despite being like a dragonborn, she had, I want to say, 6 strength or 8 strength. And, um... I got a nat 1 on my spell save check. Which, even though she only got like a 6 on her dice roll, nat 1 loses. So the ice breaks. Our warlock's like... I can't do much else. I'm going to cast Lightning Lure, try and grab onto her as she's falling. Absolutely brilliant. Great job, Hope. Uh, we'll try it. Sure enough, try it. Nuh-uh. Doesn't work. The roll does not hit. So it doesn't hit her, doesn't bring her closer. So, uh, no hope at this point. We've both used our actions. The hope from the the lightning lore, no dice. Shape water, no dice. DM's like, I mean, she's about to fall. Is there anything either of you can do from your range now? Because she'd fallen down quite far. And I'm like, I have a dagger of, I have a magical dagger of sent of a magic dagger of seeking that can't hurt and it uh, can't hurt friends. It will instead divert away. If I throw it at her. 
it will drive itself into the rock because it, uh, when it's being aimed at an enemy, it would move itself immediately into the nearest structure. The reason for this was because we had shapeshifter problems, so where people kept pretending to be our party members. So the DM let my character buy one of these. He didn't know what it was. He thought it was just a normal magical dagger, but turns out the shopkeeper knew that I was having issues with a. I uh, had gotten like a tip from my character's NPC friend, and he'd hooked. Uh, she had hooked my character up with this item that he technically shouldn't have had because it was expensive and he was poor. Um, so I threw it. I got a nat 20 on the hit, so I'm like, oh, it's perfect. Like, it's over, I win this. We, She's saved, we're good. And, like, okay, without a shadow of a doubt, that dagger's gonna find its mark and it's gonna give you the perfect hold, but you still gotta grab it. DC 10. DC 10 check to grab the dagger. She fails with advantage, and she dies. On Christmas... Our paladin, who was basically like Paladin Healy, princess, princess Dragonborn, dies on Christmas at the start of the session. This was about, it's not, okay, start of the action, because we were about 30 minutes into session at this point when this happened. So we now have a dead party member in a frickin' gosh darn, diggity darn snow globe. <laughs> Who was our only healer in as the small party? It was like we had a very poorly balanced party, which is fine. I don't we don't mind. We don't play for like we're not always the most balanced, which is fine. Uh because things like this rarely happen. Because we're all pretty experienced-ish. We're clever. Even when the DM does try and make things difficult, we find ways to circumvent. But in this one particular instance, it was it was no dice. It was... She was dead dead. Despite us using all of our collective inspiration. Th two magical spells, one magical item. No dice. It was... So sad. Really funny at the same time. Because the sheer amount of... Nope, sorry. Nope, sorry. <laughs> nope, sorry. That had to happen was just insane. The DM felt so bad. We all, we obviously all reassured her, like, no, 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 it's absolutely fine. You did a great job, DM, you did your best to save her, but sometimes death's gotta happen in D&D. &D. It was wild. And then uh, the DM was merciful, let us go down to her and have, like, parting moments with her, with her character before she died. Um, this player character was my player character's like best friend at the time and they had like a real moving like little exchange but like since she was like a special dragonborn with like actual dragon scales the dm the player was like you have to promise me one thing is that no one gets my dragon scales but you like you have to my character was a, a, a lizard folk the dragon's like, I, you have scales, they're not as strong as mine, uh, they're stronger than, not as strong as mine, and I know you're going to be the one having to take the hits and protecting people now, so I need you to take my scales and turn them into armors or something to protect yourself, so that way, like, no one scalps them, no one sells them, you're the only one I trust with them. Very moving character moment, because my dude's like, no, I don't wanna, you're not allowed to die, and no, I'm not gonna d god dang um thank you with this scale you and she was insistent she's like no i'm sorry that's it's my dying wish you gotta you gotta give me this one and it was absolutely brutal i can't find a, a hen hen it was oh it only gives you 50 um it's cool though it was absolutely tear jerking I believe um, my DM did come to tears a little bit during the the whole the whole the whole kit and caboodle. Oh, we're not gonna die like this, are we? I hope not. It'd be really weird if I died while telling a story, and I just kept going. Um, 
the session itself was kind of crazy after that point. Because we're like, okay, we gotta, we gotta stop Krampus without her. We stopped Krampus. Um, eating mini donuts while listening. Delicious. Um, I actually had a donut for lunch. The, the Krampus fight was really cool. Big ups to the DM for making such an amazingly cool battle there. Um, oh, there's a dude up here. Yeah, we should do that. I'll uh, go back to the house and start saving up Aka Akas for it. Or whatever it is we give him. And, anyways, to finish the story, we were... We fought Krampus. The whole, the whole like, session was inspired by the horror movie Krampus. And... In the final fight, one thing I remember, because it was really dope, was, um... Krampus was picking up and throwing, like, potion-esque gift boxes? They were like... Basically, they were like your standard combat potions, but they were gift boxes. And, um... The DM let me mage hand, because I have... I was a arcane trickster, so I could use mage hand as a bonus action. And I'm like, hey, can I mage hand... Like, yoink. One of the... One of the gift boxes. And she's like, you know what? That's so cool and clever. I'll let you grab one next time he throws one. I'll let you try. If it, Keep in mind, if you try and grab it and fail, it will explode in your face and deal extra damage. And I'm like, you know what? That's fair. I'll take it. Um, what do you eat? You eat veggie. So, needless to say, I caught it. Threw it in Krampus's face, dealing a ton of damage. And then finished him off with a sneak attack. Well, I, sneak atta I grabbed the present, threw it at him. S then killed him with a sneak attack crossbow bolt. Um, saved Santa, which was weird. Uh, everyone got a gift from Santa. Um, including the dead player character, his backup character, because she had been playing an artificer, changed to the paladin character, the princess, which was basically just a paladin. Um, so her backup character came coming back got a wish from Santa which was uh, something about his son like to know his son was okay which was really touching um, our kobold warlock asked for explosives because what else do you ask for Santa for in D&D &D? Um, my character's request was to have Santa's work, like workmanship, go into making the scales into something. Because he was like, I had proficiency in like three different tools from my background. But I asked Santa if, like, hey, you're literally known for making the best things. Could you make these silver scales into something I can wear for her, and that'll protect me? Um. He made it into scale mail. I was a rogue and thus couldn't use said scale mail. So um, the DM let me like modify it into like my character had a cybernetic arm because we were playing in like a, a weird kind of steampunky world. So I had a false arm. She let me make the scales into like a gauntlet to go over top of my cybernetic arm, which was cool. Um, unfortunately, the campaign didn't last too much long after that um there was a cool like storyline starting with the whole um a blimp like a, like a, not a, like a blimp thing that was coming to like oh that's why that's why we we're doing odd onions was for the gordo um the logger sorry there was a cool thing coming up with that never really got the fruition we were on the way to it and then the campaign ended. Which is really annoying. Because my character was, um, like, finally getting to do stuff. Story, because, um, we were finishing, like, two characters, kind of, there was three people in the campaign. Two of them kind of worked together to, like, make a backstory together. Like, they were, like, ping-ponged off each other a bit. So, obviously, theirs went first. Which makes sense, it was logical. And we were on the tail end of that. 
which meant, hey, my character's refugee story's gonna pi finally come up soon, right? Like, we're gonna... He's gonna get to get his revenge on the people who forced him out of his home and took his arm and stuff. And then the campaign ended, right before I was able to do all that fun stuff. So that's that was disappointing, but the campaign itself was great. Um, that Christmas session goes down in infamy. Occasionally we'll make fun of the DM for it. Um, jokingly as friends, because we're all really great friends. Um, I hang out with two of them twice a week uh, in these other two D&D campaigns now. Because this was, this was back in December. After that uh, campaign ended, I um, changed around my schedule, uh, joined different campaigns and stuff, and we happened to be together in them. Um, the one friend who played the Kobold unfortunately did not because work. Uh, complicated work schedule, which I understood. Um, but yeah. That is story of how the DM killed Christmas. <laughs> I suppose we could call it that. How the DM killed Christmas. Did I accidentally use my final odd onion? It looks like I did. That's unfortunate. I'll have to go get an odd onion. Oh, I can probably go back through the teleporter in the, the place. Or I can try anyways. I really enjoy that story in particular. It's, uh, it's a good one. One of my favorite D&D &D stories I share regularly. Let's, let's fill up on Knit Mangoes before I go, though. Um, heartwarming Christmas story on Rocket League. Season 1 stops being car your grandfather and legacy on Christmas Eve. Aww. That's really cool. I dig that. I have not played Rocket League in ages. Um, my best friend Galaxy and I, uh, she got me into Rocket League when it became free to play. Because it was a game we could play together. Because um, it's cross-platform. And up until recently, she didn't have a PC that really worked. Or worked well. She, uh, you may have seen her in my Siege stuff. Um... She does that off of a computer using GeForce, and it barely works. Bless her heart for putting up with that madness. Um, also, we'll put some backups in here. And... I've not played Rocket League for a little while. Um, I am actually in a Rocket League video... Like, not my audio, but like, I am playing against somebody. Uh, one of my favorite Twitch streamers did like a, hey, randomly doing a bracket, playing against random people, and I was in that, and that was really cool. Uh, I played quite well, for considering I had the game about two weeks, and this guy um, is like Diamond, and I got it, it was, it was a close game, it was a 1v1, which is on my worst category by far. I want to say, I did do a little bit of competitive Rocket League, like the that the competitive mode. I uh, got gold, I believe. I believe I was gold something. Alright, let's go grab an odd onion. Also, I, do, I remembered partway through is, uh, besides doing the mint mango run, that you can't go back through that teleporter, unfortunately. It's a one-way one, so I'm having to run my way. some point I might I might have to make a like a the a playlist on the YouTube channel of like trip on other channels because I've appeared on a lot of other channels over the years um there's my voice in a animation on Alley Cat's channel a very short animation early on in her channel's lifespan um I'm in it's I unfortunately don't have this uh he doesn't have it I don't have it uh, there was a... Hey, Phineas! Hello! Uh, back in the Mixer days, I did a, a stream with Longshot, Stampy, Squishy, and myself, four stack on Overwatch competitive mode. That was an absolutely legendary live stream. Loved it to bits. Still one of the best live streams I've ever done, like, and been in, in terms of, like, actual how it made me feel and excitement and stuff. Um, I don't have that, unfortunately. That's not a bot I had access to. 
and now that Mixer's gone, definitely don't have access to it now. Uh, but yeah, that I will actually write a note about that for a trip on other channels playlist. Pause and write this out. Phineas CPR, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the triple team. Also, hi Phineas. Phineas is from uh, Snappy's Discord. Future people listening or watching. There we go. Alright. How you doing, Finn? Have you recovered from the wildness that was this morning? Or were you not on for that? I don't know. I don't remember who all was on or not because it was like five o'clock in the morning my time zone, and I was exhausted and half asleep. Oh God, I was. I've been up since five a.m. Since before five a.m. and it's one p.m. That's probably why I'm tired already. <laughs> my body's like, no, you woke up too early. Because I don't typically wake up that early because I'm not currently in classes presently. I'm classless. So I've been able to just kind of... I would say I've been able to sleep in, but that's an absolute lie. Because that require would require me to sleep like a normal person. In the first place is a prerequisite. What? What? <laughs> Why did the carrots jump, Mr. Pink Boom? Do you know? Oh, you're going to explode. You're a boom slime. Duh. Um... I'm going to look around here for odd onions, because we couldn't find anything back there. I want odd onions, please, game. I accidentally... There we go. Mine. We accidentally spent all of ours. I should really get the water gun shit. I don't want it, but I gotta at some point. I've also been live for one hour and 47 minutes, so presumably in the next 30 minutes or so I'll consider wrapping. We've done a lot, we've talked a lot. <laughs> Yoink. Oh, I want... Yoink. Can I just chill on your head, please? Are you gonna let me do that? I don't think you are. But you are gonna let me yeet you into the ocean. Mwahaha. Get wrecked. I was about, I just, I literally moved my hand to get a drink, and the drink is empty, which I can visibly see. But my brain went, nah. It's not empty. You'll find out. And I pick it up, and obviously it's empty. It's a clear cup. I can see inside of it. I can see there's no contents. But my brain's still wet. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it, Trip. Embrace your destiny. I'm dumb. That is definitely a two-way teleporter. <laughs> Do it. I've not seen the original Star Wars in a hot minute. Well, no, I did. Um, before, over Christmas, I did. I watched Star Wars episodes 1, 2, and 3 over Christmas with my mother, actually. Because um, she's always been a big Star Wars fan. Uh, she raised me on Star Wars. But she's gotten busy and hasn't seen them in, like, literally years. Also, apparently, this is now producing its own chickadees, which is dope. Um... So we sat down, and over the course of like this two months or so, roughly around two months that school was closed, we watched all of Star Wars 1, 2, and 3, as well as like about half the first season of Clone Wars. It was absolutely awesome. Legendary occurrences. We want a garden with all the, all the, all the things. Salad bar. Nice. And when I'm with her next, I'm probably gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna make her watch four, five, six. 
than 7, 8, 9. Because she really wants to see 7, 8, and 9. Because we have myself, and like in the family we have two people who enjoy Star Wars. Me, who enjoy, enjoys all of Star Wars. My brother, who enjoys just the prequels and the original trilogy. He's actually someone who prefers the prequels to the original trilogy, I believe. It's something he has gone record for saying. But he absolutely hates the sequels. So, 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 so much hates them. I am... I've seen 7 and 8. I've not seen 9. Um, oh, I've just not sat down and watched it yet. Um, is the only reason. And he is adamant that the sequels are awful, terrible, shouldn't be watched. Where I am more like... You know what? 7... It was okay. Seven was just okay. Eight, I personally think eight was really good. I, I don't know why everyone hates that film so much. I think I might have too many, too many babbies in here. I think I might have too many babbies in there. Um, and I just, I don't understand why people hate episode eight so much. Um... Are there some things in it I dislike? Absolutely. There are some things I really dislike in that movie. Um, God dang Mary Poppins. That Mary Poppins moment. What? <laughs> what? Why? It, it was just, no. I didn't like it. Also, I'm sorry, friend. You need to think. It, sit over here and think about what you've done. I love you, Puddle No. You know what? Mission deliver Puddle Slime. We're delivering him to the ocean. Ogden, sure. No, eating carrots doesn't help you see in the dark. You liar. You're built on a throne of lies. Um, anyways, adults. I'm an adult. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, like thinking about it, are there some things I dislike about 8? Absolutely. I dislike the spoilers for Star Wars Episode 8 coming in, by the way. I really dislike the Harry, the, not Harry Potter moment, the Mary Poppins moment. I think it was lazy. Um, lazy and poorly done as well. It was both. Um, I'm gonna let you swim in the ocean, dear friend, or you're gonna land over there on that island. You are gonna land on the island! Pog! What a shot! Um, I think the, um, the way Phasma was handled, absolute waste of an interesting, could have been very outside the box, but beloved character that would endure, instead she was kind of just thrown away in a really lazy way. Um, I wasn't a fan of that. The... I really... Uh, there's a race in Star Wars. Oh, yeah, just maybe. Yeah. Maybe you like Star Wars Jawa. <laughs> I adore Jawas. Um, I was in... I was supposed to be in a Star Wars themed D&D campaign and I was going to play a Jawa in that. I was going to be a Jawa Jedi or like a Jawa Force user who was like kind of an artificer from D&D sort of. So like he would use the Force to like build things. But um he would meditate in a junkyard. It was a whole thing. Anyways, uh back to my criticisms and a Opinions on Star Wars Episode Eight. Uh, I really think that he's so unmemorable. I can't actually remember his name. The not Finn, the pilot, the rebel pilot that was basically Han Solo to um, Electric Boogaloo. Um, he is miserable. I absolutely hate his character. He is worse than Han Solo, which is saying something. And his whole rebellion shtick just so dumb. So lazy, so bad. I hated every second of it. Um, like his mutiny on the ship. If I hadn't been in a theater, I would consider turning it off. That scene I hated. Um, but other than that scene... Okay, they spent too long in the gambling place. I'll admit that too. But other than those things, one major criticism, a lot of minor ones, I really liked the film. 
it was better than other Star Wars in the franchise, which I won't specifically name, so that way I keep my head on my shoulders. Um, but, like, I don't, it's, I, it's super maligned for, I think, not really much good reason. Um, pink hair general lady. I'll admit, she was an interesting choice for what they had her do. But I think that moment, that moment with the, the Destroyer goes down in history for me. In terms of iconic, amazing, breathtaking Star Wars moments. It was like the first, like, the first good, like, holy crap Star Wars moment I have seen since the prequels. Uh, actually no. Rogue One had one of those. And I think that that thing was really well done. Um, that scene I remember a lot. I think the whole... I don't know, it was... I think part of the reason I liked it is you get significantly... Uh, you get your first, got your first COVID shot on Friday. Congratulations! I got my first COVID shot last Friday. And I am uh, looking forward to getting my other one so I can return to civilization. Well, I wasn't really in Civilization before, but you know what I mean. Um, anyways, Star Wars. Um, I thought the whole uh, blah, trip, words, brain. Why can't I remember the word I'm looking for? Come on. You can do it, brain. I can hear the chugga chugga going in the neural synapses. Oh, duh. The the whole, like... I think the fact that I had a bit less Kylo Ren made me like it more. And a bit less Rey, actually. You get noticeably less Rey in that movie. And I think it's a good thing. Because I think, um... One of the greatest weaknesses of the pr sequels... Utini! <laughs> I think one of the greatest weaknesses of the sequels is their reliance on the Kylo ren Ray dynamic. And I just don't think there's quite enough there to make it worth the investment. I think there's... I just, yeah, I think that's the best way to put it, is I think they relied too heavily on a thing that didn't quite work, wasn't quite good enough for what they needed to be the backbone of the series for the trilogy. And... Just was it? If that makes sense. Also, we can now um, do things here. It's very cool. We can make things. Use the refinery. We can fill up with resources to make things. Um, but yeah, I think I described that pretty well. Let's read this. I built this lab after meeting a slime scientist and learning about the wonders of plort technology. I figured it would be fun to tinker with on rainy days. I only nearly blew myself up three times, which is pretty good giving my tendency with that sort of thing and other hobbies. But it soon became a reminder that I'd have a thirst for adventure. Being cooped up in a barn all day wasn't going to satisfy that thirst. Soon I began to set my sights for horizons beyond this ranch, and once I got to thinking on it, further still. Excuse me. So we can build a novice drill. Ten plorts. Ten six three. Let's, uh, let's see, what are some other things? Novice pump. Novice apiary. Collect resources from wild bees. Pink teleporter. Set of teleporters that can create your own travel link. Those are very cool. Warp deposit. Lets you move things across. Drones. Lets you do things. Slime stage. Unequivocally the number one slime. Slime Lamp, Housing Happy Slime, Gordo Snare. Oh, yeah, that lets you make your own Gordos, basically, right? Yeah, ow. And then a Novice Drill you get automatically. I think we'll learn... Learning the Teleporter. I want to learn the Teleporter. Can I be removed? Yes. You put things in there. And you Warp Tech. 
We have hexacombs, deep brine, and strange diamonds. So we want the B one too. We want a novice apiary as well. So let's try and build an apiary. Honey, phosphor, pink. Ten six three. Why am I going this way? Most of them are this way. Because right here connects in. Hi, friends. Oh, you all look so happy with yourselves. So we want six of these. That's seven. Oh, I forgot. I forget I have a flashlight. Here's ten. Actually, we're just going to take thirty pink with us. Because we don't really profit much from selling these. So it's good to just kind of have them in the tank. Now we want three honey. Also, I think we want some rock. We'll just bring a, we'll bring a variety with us. Why not? Um, here we go. Eight honey. Shit, good. We'll hit the pump, see if there's any in there. There are. Grab two more. So we have ten honey. Suck up some rock. Cool. Ten rock as well. Also, one thing I forgot, um, that I'm curious if you guys would be interested in. I'd have to look into this, but I've, there is a way to do, like, watch parties through Amazon Prime. If that's something you guys, if you guys would be interested in doing watch parties with me in the future, because I watch a decent amount of things on Amazon Prime, I would consider watching things together with you guys on stream, maybe. I'd consider it, for sure. Uh, we can, alright, we can make an apiary. Fabricate. Onward to science. Uh, we can make another, so we'll. And we'll also... We'll go grab three rad plorts. Alrighty. Love movie nights. Glad to hear it. Love movie nights as well. Movies are amazing. I miss doing movie nights with my friends. It's one of the big things I've been missing. I'm supposed to do... I was supposed to do an avatar, like watching Avatar The Last Airbender last night. But I unfortunately passed out from my condition causing me so much pain I couldn't remain conscious. So I missed it. Um, they didn't do it without me, obviously, because they're good people. But I don't actually know how to... We'll sell one of these, because I accidentally grabbed too many. Uh, we'll t bring ten hunters with us, too. I don't know how to... Whoa, no, 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 buddy. No, 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 no. No, you're going home. Home. I didn't want to lose a puddle up boy like that. How do I get the builder shop thing to disappear from my screen? <laughs> Be gone. Slimepedia. Slime science. Warp tech, decorations, curios. Well functional Oh yeah, there's the toys. I love those. Drones. We're going to make drones, but they're painful. I'll probably have to, like, look into drones later. Like, actually, like, go on, like, YouTube and, like, research how they're, how you use them well. Also, can we appreciate, we're on day 11 and we've already, like, started slime science. <laughs> I assume day 11 for slime signs is good. Uh, two Discord servers, if you're interested in joining. Maybe. I'm on a ton of Discords at the moment, so veremos on that one. I'll think about it. Alright, how do I use the things that I have crafted? The Fabricator. I have built ones. Uh, fabricate. T for gadget mode. E to activate. Alrighty, we will do a drill here. 
and an apiary over here. Actually, we'll do two apiaries over here. Install. We'll actually do a... No, let's do an apiary inside the little... This bit. To see if we get different things. Because that would make sense to have different... Different things from different things, you know? Logically. Install. And it'll last for one cycle. Tee. Hee hee. Um, science class passed. Wow, what a surprise. The physicist passed slime science. I'm blown away. Star mail. The death hike. Thanks, cat. Still totally hate you for that smiley face. <laughs> Me. That's exactly my vibe. I hate you. Smile face. No, it's not my vibe. I just wish that was my vibe. My vibe is... I don't know what my vibe is. I've been told what my vibe is, and I don't believe them. Because <laughs> typically the people who would be who would tell me what my vibe is are too nice, and thus <laughs> are not <laughs> looking at it objectively. Also, I've learned a way to get things back in there, is you just shoot it in there and then suck it. I typically am told I have like a I feel like now that I've mentioned it, I have to, like, explain it. I'm typically told I have, like, a bit of a mad scientist kind of vibe, which I appreciate. But normally they'll say, like, in a good way. Like, they'll always clarify it's in a good way. Which makes me think, it's maybe not in a good way. <laughs> Who knows, that may just be a me thing. Me and my insecurities, but... I am a bit of, like, a mad... Not a madman, that's definitely not the case. I do have a bit of a mad scientist vibe about me, which is why the Minecraft skin has changed to have, like, a lab coat. Um, I'm working with an artist to commission... Uh, I, I feel bad... I can't even really call it a commission, because they insist that I don't pay them. Um, like, some channel art with more of a... Uh, with an updated... Hey, we got the treasure cracker. Um, we don't have enough new bucks. Updated character. Which is very cool. I very much like it. Wh by what it, uh, she's told me what we've talked about, it's going to be very good. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Puddle rave. <laughs> Possible future emote is puddle wave. You heard it here first. Um, there are way too many mangoes on the ground here. It's because I set it on the wrong timer. I set it on fast instead of slow. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, I know I'm not actually dumb just because I do dumb things in game. But I feel dumb for doing dumb things in game. Statistically, am I, like, numerically, am I intelligent? Yes. Does that stop me from being an idiot? No. <laughs> if anything, it encourages and, like, soothes my stupidity to come more to the forefront. <laughs> We've been live for about two hours nine, so we'll probably wrap up soon. We've been playing a lot of... I've been playing a lot of Slime Ranch. I know, like, typically on Twitch you're supposed to go way longer than two hours. Like, good streamers would go, like, seven, eight hours, and that's, that's how they do their thing. And you're supposed to, like... Especially starting off, they encourage, like, do it, stream as much as you humanly can early on to get as, like, much algorithm traffic as you possibly can. Um... Which I appreciate and understand. But simultaneously, like, I have a lot of very severe chronic health issues that make that not a possible thing for me to do. Like, could I? Yeah. Would it be agonizing, though? Oh, yeah. So, like... Will we do things in the future that are longer than my normal span? Oh, yeah. We'll definitely will. I actually might do one in May for the Safe in Our World people. Um, like... Just kind of an impromptu 24 hour, maybe maybe 24, probably leaning towards like 12. 
Because 12 I know I could do. I could do 12 hours. Um, for a good cause like that. Uh, 24, I don't know. 24, I think... I, I can stay awake 24 hours. That's not the problem. I do 24 hours awake all the time, unintentionally. Um, but... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Streaming takes... A, people don't realize streaming does take a, quite a lot out of you. Even if you're a healthy person. I would not class myself as a healthy individual, because I'm not. Um, not as in, like, I live unhealthily. I don't live particularly healthy, but I live very healthy considering my condition. Considering how I am, I I might have a bit of dad bod to an extent, uh, to my own, my own understanding, but I'm not overweight. Um, I'm still relatively muscular in the muscles that I can use correctly. So, like... All things considered, I am doing pretty dang well. Especially comparatively. But, 24 hour live stream, I would be in so much pain by the end. Because my joint problems are real bad. I don't talk about it often. Well, I, I try not to talk about it too much. But I kind of find myself like talking to my friends about it a lot because it's literally always on my mind. That is one of the downsides to being and having friends with like chronic health issues, is they will say no, it, like I'm fine, I'm not, it's not bothering me. They are absolutely lying to you. People with really bad chronic health issues, it is almost impossible to truly clear it from your mind, even temporarily. It's one of the reasons why D and D is an amazing escape mechanism for me. Is it is one of the few things that does that. Um, And I found that, I'm um, loading up on food, we're going to go ch uh, do that, the Gordo. Uh, but like, even if you convince yourself, like, I'm not worried about it, I'm not thinking about it, you always have to consider it, you always have to, like, take it into account, and thus it's kind of always, even if it's not in the forefront of your mind, it's always kind of there. And that's an unfortunate reality of living with these kind of chronic health issues. D&D &D is like... d and is an escape for me. Um, streaming's a bit of an escape for me. Granted, I can only do it for a certain amount of time before my body catches up with me. These will be done in two IRL minutes, which is nice. Um, and... So, like, something like a 12-hour stream I could do. I would need... I would have to give myself breaks and be careful and be smart about it. But it, I could do it. I definitely could. Friend? Another 7Z ornament. Um... But, yeah. I will... I'm gonna consider doing a 12-hour. I'll look into its feasibility. I gotta remember, how do I get to that place again? down one of these places. My eye hurts. It's the wrong eye. It's my good eye. <laughs> I think I went the wrong way. Um, we can crack this. Blueprint acquired. Minty grass patch. Yummy. Um. Oh god, my eye. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be able to stream much longer because my eye is burning. In pain. Um. We love nerve damage. It's the best. It's not the right way either. But yeah. The 12 hour stream is doable. 24 now. 24 is not doable. As much as I wanna. It would hurt more than my than the streams donations to charity would help because <laughs> it wouldn't like it wouldn't offset its its cost enough if that makes sense. The cost of it helping people wouldn't offset the dam offset the damage it would do to me it quite enough to make it like a no doubt no brainer kind of yes totally. I realized the way I said that originally made it sound like charity wasn't worth it, which is not the case. 
god, my eye. Very unpleasant. Come on, give me charge back. Thank you, game. But yeah, so... On the topic of charity again, Saturday's stream is Fall Guys. Um, we might be alone in voice call this time. Or we might not. There's, the cha there's a couple possibilities. Possibility numero uno. I will be alone in the voice call like last time. Just streaming myself. Possibility number two. I will be in a voice call with some of the other players because we were talking about it um because since the load times are so incredibly long um i might be able to be in a vc with other people so i don't have to talk to myself for the 20 plus minutes because it's really hard to just when there's no game to talk over and you, you don't have like specific things planned it can be hard to just talk to yourself while trying to balance charity stuff for that long of a time. So I might be doing things with other people for that. We got some deep brine and lava dust. We need deep brine. For something. For the teleporter we do. Nice. Um, if that were to be the case, chances are we would be either in a VC with Lamadia, uh, the person who like brought me into this, um, or... And other people, not just her. I don't know who all, though. Either we'd be in a voice call with, like, people from the event, or I would organize my own voice call with, uh, probably, I'd probably try and drag V Galaxy into it, because uh, she agreed to play with us, um, so we have enough people and stuff, and if that's the case, and if I'm not in a VC with these uh, other people, I'll probably drag her into a VC and we'll do it together. Because the two of us could probably talk infinitely. That's one of the another very good thing about our friendship is we could literally just talk for eternity. Um, then the sixth is a Minecraft stream, a special Minecraft stream. Um, not entire. Oh, I'm cute. I, I'm dead. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> We lost all of that progress. We lost all of that, all of this stuff. I don't know. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, Bob, what do you want, Bob? Anything worth it? Maybe. Yeah, that's worth. We'll trade with Bob here. Um, could we get an F in the chat for the... The much, the big losses there. I think that's right? Yeah. Hasty exchange. Oh, because I did it quickly enough. Nice. Um, I'm sorry, how? How are ports up there? Riddle me that. Yeah, we're gonna hold on to these odd onions. We need them. I just got. I'm not, I don't have. How did I get a text message in here? Oh, it's vaccine reminder system. Even though I already have my vaccine, it keeps being like, "Hey, blah blah blah, place is open for vaccines," and I'm like, "That's awesome. I'm already scheduled elsewhere." <laughs> but thanks. Um, maybe they're trying to make up for giving my vaccine to another person. My original vaccine, I should have. That would have, would have. I would have gotten my second vaccine last uh, two weeks ago, uh, had they not had to give ha, quotes had to give my appointment to someone else. Um, yes, I'm still grumpy about that because it's lame. Um, but yeah, uh, the sixth we'll be doing Minecraft charity stream for safe in our world. Um, I don't know if I can say what it's going to be yet. It's not, it's not what you think, anyways. It's not what I thought when I signed up for it, I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> whether or not it's a good or bad thing, that remains to be seen. Um, like, it won't be a bad thing, it's charity, but like, whether or not the, what we're doing, if it works out as well as they hope it will, that remains to be seen. Um, 
but yeah. And then on the 7th, that's Among Us, which is going to be awesome. I'm super looking forward to that. I'm going to be doing an hour of Among Us and probably an hour of just chatting because I won't be there the full two hours of the stream because I'm swapping out. Because more people signed up than there were than there are slots in Among Us lobby. So we're uh, taking turns. Activate. What are you? Buzzwax. Cool. I'm still upset we lost the brine water. We needed that. Also, the lava stuff looked cool. Hello, dancey thing. Activate. Buzzwax and a hexacomb. Activate. Jelly stones and a strange diamond. We need a strange diamond. That's almost everything we need. If we had the brine, I think that would be everything we need for a teleporter, actually. Warp text. Oh no, we would have needed a lot more. We need ten brine. Four more hexacombs than strange. We had the strange diamond we need. So we just need more pink. Oh, let's open this. I forgot there's a pod right here. Probably a blueprint? Or ingredients? I think it can only be a blueprint or ingredients, thinking about it. Brine! Deep brine! Much deep brine. And hexacombs. Strange diamond. I think they want you to build a teleporter, maybe. Because <laughs> they give you almost everything you need for it. Very quickly. The teleport is amazing, though, let's be honest. Um, we'll buy the ability to make pumps, too. Tabby. Oh, we don't have Tabby. So we need Tabby to do that. We might make these here pink. Because it seems you need a lot of pink. A lot of pink. So we might do that. But I think we are right at, we are just before the two and a half hour mark. I think we're going to wrap it up here. I have loved this. This was a great stream. So glad I just did it today. Despite the fact I wasn't really feeling too great. Because I had a really rough morning. Um, but I'm glad I did. You know, it was absolutely the right decision. No regret. No regrets. No rag. No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Um, and I hope you guys watching enjoyed it. Um, thank you to Phineas for following partway through, being follower number 31 on our journey to 50. Um, very excited for that. Because 50 is when I can apply for affiliate. Uh, and I think it's affiliate? I think it's the name of that tier. They're different tiers. The first thing I can apply for is at 50. And after the stream ends, I'm going to be on here a little bit, just selling plorts, but, uh, Thanks everyone for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, be sure to follow if you haven't already. Share the stream with your friends. Post clips. Do all that fun Twitch stuff to help support me. Help other people find me. You know, make it so I'm able to keep doing this. You know, I currently am dedicating basically every moment of free time to this. To this stream life. And your guys' support helps me do that. And, uh, thanks for watching other than that. Peace out, guys.